In this video, we'll go over the Festival Lost, how it works, especially for new and returning players, and how you enable this event to get the rewards that you want as quickly as possible. First off, Festival Lost is an event that happens every time around Halloween, and this event, again, is centered around how you get spooky gear. The core thing that enables that is what's called Haunted Lost Sectors. These are in a playlist which you play with other players. You kill, obviously, as many enemies as possible, including many bosses called Headless Ones. These come up on a constant rotation. For your fire team, you're going to, want to bounce from one to the other, continue to kill them because you want to kill as many as possible. You can kill at least 10 fairly easily, and if you can do it within the allotted time, you can actually kill more. When you're done with this, you will get loot to drop, but there's other reasons that you want to kill as many as possible. To get the title and certain rewards within the event, you're going to need to get as many spectral pages as possible. When you have these spectral pages, if you kill, let's say you have 10 of them, if you kill 10 headless ones within an event, within one of these lost sectors, you'll actually get this turned over into manifest pages, which you can then turn in to open up the lore book, which then will enable you to get certain achievements to get certain cosmetic rewards within the event. Besides just getting new roles as you go through the Haunted Lost Sectors, one of the things they've added this season is they've added the ability to actually go into Legend Lost Sectors. Now, the difference between the normal and the Legend is the Legend obviously will be more difficult, but it'll give you a greater chance of getting new exotic-like engrams that will actually allow you to get exotics that you don't have yet. So just like Bungie opened up the ability to do this with the event that's on Neptune, now you have an additional way to do this. This is a focusing, just like you have focusing at other vendors. So if you're in a normal Lost Sector or Haunted Lost Sector, you have the ability to get this. The Legend gives you greater chance. And then I'll link off to this post that's at Bungie that lists out the different type of engrams you get. If you get those, you can focus those. And when you focus those, you have a chance for getting certain exotics. Again, it does require you to have the DLC in question to get those exotics. With that said, obviously, to get the most out of the event, you're going to get as many spectral pages and candy as possible. So to get these, I would say probably the easiest way to do this is to do public events. And it doesn't matter whether you do heroic or non-heroic because you get slightly more candy and slightly more spectral pages for doing a heroic but for most events, you can probably blow through a little bit quicker by not doing a heroic. But again, it just depends. Some heroic events are actually shorter than not doing them non-heroic. So if you're not clear on how to do heroic public events or doing regular, I have a video I'll put in the description here that'll tell you how to do every public event that's located within Destiny. To do this quickly, I'd recommend using EDZ where you can warp around and use a different fast travel points. And if for some reason, you just happen to be between events and you're waiting, you can actually do patrols and do the lost sectors in those areas to get candy and spectral pages in addition. With this method, you can get them really, really quickly. And you'll need these, again, especially the candy, if you want to do the focusing to get the exotics you want. Again, really quick video, guys, but I wanted to show you how the event worked, what kind of currency you need, how to get it the quickest, and again, why you should care. Especially now that we've added the ability to get exotics and to be able to focus them. To me, that makes it a no-brainer. Go in, get your spooky candy, get all the rewards you want, and again, it's a time-limited thing, so do it now. And that's the video. If you like the video, feel free to like it, subscribe to my channel, jump my Discord, and I'll see you, Guardians in the Tower.